hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my lady s thank you so much for keeping on liking commenting subscribing and sharing my content i really appreciate it and welcome back to my lady s where we are living loving and laughing we're living for the lord we're living life to the fullest where we are loving ourselves where we're loving god and we're loving others and most importantly we are laughing out loud and we're enjoying the life that we live so today i am going to be sharing um about the social media break that i took but i'd like to consider it as a social media fast uh, and also i'm going to keep on looking like down because i have my notes so that i don't like you know i don't talk about other irrelevant things because a girl is up here your girl is up here so at least when i have some sort of guidance here then i'm able to get to the point yeah so i've been away from social media i've been away from youtube like for youtube it's been quite a while but so i deactivated all my social media accounts for a while and then i'm going to share why i did that and how it helped me how it benefited me hopefully it's also going to benefit someone it's also going to help someone because we're going through a lot life is a rave life is a rough also with the pandemic it's just a lot so i really thought me taking this time um it was going to help me and it actually did so i'm also going to be sharing some from the bible as well just to support um with bible verses and just to give you some more information so that we can share the word as well as sharing wisdom sharing you know holistic wellness that's what we're all about holistic health holistic wellness Let's get right into it. Right into it. I'm firstly going to share why I deactivated my social media accounts. I deactivated my accounts because I felt so overwhelmed. Like I was really feeling overwhelmed because I felt like there was a lot of things going on in my life. Um having to because i had just started a new job thank you lord which i'm very very grateful for that's another story for another day i have a testimony you guys yeah so i just started a new job and my training was so hectic like my training was hectic hardcore i didn't have time for my social media number two i was so overwhelmed because like i felt like being on social media was getting kind of depressing um you know with the whole thing um the pandemic going on people dying like it was just bad news sad news everywhere yes you do have those cases where somebody bought a car it's beautiful somebody had a baby which is amazing but most of the time i was feeling like there's just a lot of negative things that i i was getting on my timelines on especially on twitter there was just negative things on the news and i was just like i just needed to unplug to unwind just to disappear a bit because i felt like it was getting too much on my mind and it was eventually going to end up depressing um another reason why i deactivated it was because i felt like i was spending so much time i was spending so much time on social media i didn't have self-discipline i didn't have self-control i was over consuming social media and the balance between um producing and consuming it was not a balanced one it was not a balance i was consuming more than i was producing so you find that in the morning i would wake up and i'm on social media in the afternoon i'm chilling i'm on social media i'm on instagram i'm just watching people's statuses so that was actually wasting a whole lot of my time and i realized that actually even when i go to the bathroom i have my phone i'm sitting on the toilet i'm having my phone i'm making food i have my phone the whole time it was like it was glued to my hands and i i, I realized that this is not helping me it re really wasn't helping me so that's one of the reasons why i decided that um it's time that i left social media for a while so that i can like refresh and then another reason why i left social media was because i felt like i needed a break i honestly think mainly because i felt like i was oversharing thing is i'm 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 naturally an open person and i share if you're close i'll share i'll tell you everything i don't hold back a lot of things which is also very problematic and i realized that when i'm not on social media and something happens now i can't take my phone immediately and tweet about it i can't go on whatsapp immediately and put a status about it i can't call so i had a bit of privacy like like i was struggling the balance of um having my friends and family informed about my life and whatnot 
and oversharing i couldn't balance that and i felt that i was such an oversharer everything and anything about my life you would know based on twitter and whatsapp specifically those two whatsapp and twitter because you know on twitter like you just go and then you just tweet things right and i felt like i was struggling because i feel like people know so much about me even some things where things that are not necessary to share with people i would share and that's why i decided that uh, uh no 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 i need a social media break so while i was on a social media break i had so much time in the morning i could wake up and do a whole lot of things so i started you know what um I, had, I realized that i haven't been reading my bible in a long time actually um like not when i go to church because when i go to church we always read the bible but like um being intentional about spending time with god and reading the bible and so i went on like uh, when i was taking when i was deactivating my social media accounts i didn't have any goal in mind or anything i was just like i'm deactivating because i'm tired it was just i just want to disappear and then as i was scrolling through my phone on the bible app i found this other bible plan yes where you can study the bible using the plan following the plan and then that plan was about a social media break i literally bumped into it i'm like god is this you <laughs> are you saying that lady read this but anyway yeah so i started reading that and it was so amazing i'm like this is what actually i'm going through this is what's happening to me i'm like god you speak in wonders Anyway, so I started doing that Bible plan and I realized actually I'm on a social media fast and I should not call it a break. Same thing, but I choose to call it a social media break. And I'll tell you the benefits and how this thing actually helped me. All right, so number one on the list of how so being away from social media, taking a social media fast, how it helped me. The number one reason is that I started spending so much time with God, which I was doing, but it wasn't as intentional. You know, sometimes you wake up and then you pray like, oh God, thank you for this day. Or you just read the Bible or you, you bump into a Bible verse and then you just read it, but you're not very intentional. You don't like, you don't meditate on the word basically. So being away from social media, it helped me to have so much clarity, so much clarity where I could sit, I could read my Bible, and then I could understand. Sometimes I'll just sit and meditate and like have God speak to me because, you know, I'm digressing. But anyway, it's important that I put this out there. I feel like some of us, most of us, like myself, I'm very guilty of this as well. We spend so much time praying, asking to God, demanding God, I need this, I want this, and but we don't even take time to, to like for gratitude. We don't take those gratitude moments. And we also don't take time to listen, which is quite important. A relationship with God is a two-way thing. The same way when you're in a relationship with someone, there has to be communication. But I realized that in what we do and what I was doing is that I was talking, 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 talking to God, but then I wasn't taking the time to listen and when my answers are not are not and when my prayers are not answered i'll complain oh my god god is not answering my prayers but i'm like girl did you listen though did you take the time to listen though you know so i think it's one of the things that helped me when i was taking the social media break that i need to have quiet time it's important i need to sit still and listen to god I've been saying a lot, but was I listening? You know, sometimes you just need to take a moment and listen and have quiet moments with God. So with taking the time, I started doing that a lot where I started having so much, so much time reading the Bible, understanding and learning and getting to know myself and getting to know God better. So most importantly, at number one, this has brought me so close to God, like, because I felt like I was drifting away in a sense and God has been doing such amazing things in my life but I wasn't taking I wasn't taking time to sit to listen and just to be with him which um, I felt bad it's like I felt I felt bad but I wasn't doing anything about it so now every morning I'll take out my bible start doing my um devotions start being intentional about my relationship and growing my relationship with God not just bumping into it or remembering oh couldn't your god exist and then you just it's just an afterthought you know not making it an afterthought like being intentional about living for god doing things for god another thing that i realized is that um i took some time back to reflect and see and i was like hold up i realized that my social media pages do not reflect my relationship with god they do not reflect my faith they really didn't re not reflect um, how important my relationship with God is and as a Christian, especially my Instagram. Let me tell you, on Instagram, I have my food, when I go out, when I go to 
eat my drinks but you wouldn't as a normal person look at this at my page and be like okay this girl is a believer on fire for god like and I've, that thing bothered me so much because i felt like in real life people know me those who know me they know how important my relationship with god is and where i stand with my god but there was nothing that was reflecting nothing was reflecting on my social media pages and then that made me feel like i'm living a double life because my 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 my, my my social medias were not reflecting Christ and that thing bothered me so much and I think taking a step back and reflecting it also helped me to kind of see where am I going wrong and what kind of message do I want to put up there even if I'm not saying a lot even if I'm not doing a lot but when you look at my Instagram what does it say about me what does it say about my relationship with God and the kind of person that I am and about my faith nothing would you get to my instagram and be inspired would you get to my instagram and be like lord this girl so i felt like for me that was important that I actually review it take a step back and actually have a look so with me taking a bit of time off from social media it allowed me to have so much time in my hands that i started going back to reading like um i was neglecting my books so much because every night i'll be in bed and i'm on on social media i'm scrolling through next thing i know it's 12 o'clock i need to sleep i don't get any readings done i don't have time for self-development which is something that i love and i'm all about you know but i wasn't doing any of that um but now i actually have time to read my books i even just bought mapalo maku's book that one um you're not broke you're pretty rich and now i have time to actually read my book i wasn't journaling my feelings um, whenever I was going through something, I would tweet it, I would put it on social media. Um, but now I have time to, like in the morning when I wake up after doing my devotions, I can just write into my journal before I sleep. I can have a journal moment, which is so refreshing, so amazing. And I feel like it helps you to grow and bring you closer to yourself and most importantly to God. Also, I have more, t I had, I had realized that now I have more time for even relationships, not, not, not romantic relationships. Not romantic relationship, but that that could be there too, but not for me at this moment. Um, I'm saying relationship, but in a form of pe like people, you know, relationships with family, relationship with friends. Um, when you are sitting and you're on social media, you don't have that face-to-face -face moment. You don't chat. You're not intentional about your conversations. You know, it's just like things that are just happening on social media because you both are scrolling through social media. But I realize that now I can sit and talk to people. How are you? What's going on? You get to understand more. You hear more because you're not on social media. Nothing is distracting you. And because I didn't have social media, I'm actually forced to listen. And then when people are on their phones, I have nothing to do. I'm just like, then we're forced to talk. So I realized that it really um, gave me so much time to also rest, interact and have self so some time for myself to exercise and be wholesome just to be holistically happy and be more like um just to give myself the energy that i want from myself i don't know if that makes sense but yes it helped me in that regard and while i was on this social media fast um and i was reading through the, the social media fast plan that i was doing i learned that social media can also be an idol an idol in a sense that you worship it, right? And what I learned is that um, an idol is not only like a little god or... Um, how do I say this? Like little idols that you worship or certain spirits that you worship. But an idol is anything that you put before God. Anything that interrupts your relationship with God, that is an idol. And also I like to share from Exodus, Exodus 20 verse 3. Um, it says, thou shalt not have any other God before me. Thou shalt not make any other graven image of my likeness that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water and underneath. And then I think when we think of idols, we always think of little gods, spirits, uh, worshipping spirits, having those um, sh sh shrines, having a shrine, having those little things that we worship that are physical or spiritual but then i've learned that i was like mind blown i'm like wow an idol is anything you put before god so i realized that i put my phone my social media before god 
I wake up, I'm on my phone. I don't even pray. Before I even say a word, to check if my voice is still even working, if I can even speak. I just go on my phone, I'm scrolling, I'm on social media, everything. At night, I'm scrolling, I'm not reading the Bible. And I was like, I'm making this an idol. So I think it's some, something that I actually benefited from in taking the social media break, which was quite important. And just to also um, share with you guys that please don't let it get to the point because our God is a jealous God. And when you do things like this, it doesn't end well. It's going to end in tears, baby girl, basically. Okay, so, and then I realized being off social media, I was more content with my life, what I'm doing, the things that I have. Um, as before when I was not, when I was on social media, because I realized that when I was on social media, I'd compare myself a lot to people. Like I'd compare myself a lot. Even sometimes I'm like, I'm not going to compare myself, but unconsciously I see someone doing this and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. But then I'm like, ah, when is my time? I'm like, God, when? God win, you know, and then you get a feeling of not being content. And then I also share from um, I'm also going to share from Second Corinthians ten verse twelve, where it says, "We do not we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who condemn themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise." And I was like, I am not wise because I'm comparing myself to other people. And also we have learned that in social media, you don't know how people attain the things they, they have. Some people do illegal things. Some people work extremely hard and to get those things. But we always sabawal, sabawal, sabawal. That thing, we're always comparing, we're always wanting and wanting and wanting. And then we don't have... Um, that contentment within ourselves because we always see and then we sabah well we see we want we want we want so it taught me a lot to be content with what i have and most important to be also be grateful for also what i have and um you know what i'm also going to share this while i was doing the the plan um i wrote down on my notebook here i'm just going to read it to you um it says that i realized that um as much as we have social media, social media is such a beautiful platform. It's a beautiful resource. People make money from it. People make a living from social media. People share information, you know. We get information from social media. People keep in touch with family and friends, which is quite a beautiful thing. But you just have to have self-discipline. And it's also about how you do things and how you use it, which in my case, I don't think I was using it um, correctly. And which led to a lot of factors and then i also learned that um with, there's so many resources available to our disposal but it's how you use them and then we also have a responsibility we have to be responsible to how we use these things right and i've also learned that we have to be responsible to guard our eyes and our hearts god has given us all these beautiful things but it's up to you how do you use it so i'm also going to share a little code that i got from the reading that i was doing it says we cannot feed the inner man unhealthy diet and expect holy thoughts that stuck by me because you would read something on social media you sleep you would dream about it and it throws your whole day off you know so this it actually helped me and it says what we consume online can become dirty to the soul when we become ill spiritually because of what we feed our inner man online Return to the doctor, which is God. Change your habits. Change your social media consumption. With that also, I found a Bible verse that I'm also going to share, which goes hand in hand with um, what I was reading now. So it's in Matthew 6, Matthew 6, verse 22. It says, The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Obviously, that's not... Um, directly that's not direct right what it means basically is that what we feed our eyes like with what we see we take it in internally we internalize it and all of that so what we see on social media it's what we basically are feeding our souls and if we feed it nasty things all these messy things that we see how do we expect our souls our emotions our mental health to be healthy like a mental spiritual 
emotional it affects you with what you see with your eyes is going to affect all of those things so i realized that for me to be able to be healthy emotionally spiritually and mentally i have to consume healthy news healthy things things that are building me and encouraging me to follow influencers and people that inspire me that share what i need to also share that like things that bring me life not things that pull me down make me feel make me feel discouraged so basically in essence this is what it's saying is that also with what you consume it's up to you social media is such an amazing thing but you choose to consume what you choose to consume and that ends up um destroying you and also there's a lot of negative things on social media there's a lot of positive things what do you choose to consume and this made me think a lot of um when i when i um i was coming back to social media what kind of content i want to put out there how i want to be seen and also most important was that my social media needs to also glorify god when people see my social media they need to be inspired they need to feel god they need to witness god and my it needs to most important just glorify god it really changed my mind and i hope that the day you decide to also go on a social media fast or maybe you're considering it i highly highly recommend it it's so important it helped me a lot it turned my life around maybe you guys don't feel the energy or you don't see it but that's what it did to me and i also watched a youtube video while i was doing that um of i forgot his name i'm so sorry i forgot his name and then he was saying that you there should be a healthy balance between your consuming and consuming and um producing so there are people who use social media to produce and they make money you know influences put and they produce there are people who use social media to put the word out there maybe of god they're producing but when you don't have the healthy um balance then that's where you're going to start um struggling and i was like okay this it really spoke to me it spoke volumes to me. i'm like there are people who generally just choose to consume and it works well for them and then there are people who are so disciplined that they use social media appropriately they don't have any problems with balancing social media and their lives and i'm so glad and i was like this is where i want to be at this is where i need to get at this is the level i want to be where i know how to control myself when i'm done when i've enough with social media i'm like I i've had too much social media consumption for the day this is it so yeah i hope i wasn't all over i hope i wasn't rambling guys thank you so much for watching and i highly recommend that you guys do a social media fast because this really helped me with that said thank you so much for watching and i can officially say that i'm back to youtube full time i'm back on social media i'll be releasing videos i'll be sharing the word i'll be doing vlogs anything and everything and also if you have um a video idea you can just comment below and tell me what you want me to um make content on i'll be glad to do that thank you so much guys and i hope this was worth it and i hope that it also impacted you and it also helped you as much as it did thank you so much for tuning in please continue to like subscribe comment share what else <laughs> everything that you need to do so that we get the word out there thank you so much guys for tuning in and have an amazing day as much as i will